All right, this question is from the Calculus One Essential Concepts and Practice document, number 92. Um, so it says ship A was 15 miles, excuse me, north of ship B. So ship B down here, and that distance is uh, 15. And I'm gonna change everything from nautical miles and knots to miles and miles per hour. So 15 miles there. Um, and then it's traveling south at uh, 15 miles an hour. And then it says ship B is traveling east at six miles per hour. Um, and it says the visibility that day was five nautical miles. Did the ships ever sight each other? Um, so in other words, were these ships ever within five miles of each other? Now, how I'm going to do this is by um, coming up with a function that relates uh, the distance between A and B together, um, and then I'm going to minimize that function. So um, here is the distance between uh, the vertical distance, and then we'll call that um, Z here. So here, this is Z. That's the distance in between A and B as these ships are moving. Um, we'll call the horizontal X and the vertical Y. So we can relate these, you know, with the Pythagorean theorem. Now, um, the issue is um, I want to write z as a function of time because um, the distances, so how far ship A has traveled and how far ship B has traveled are functions of time. So I want to rewrite this equation uh, that I have for z as a function in time. So what I need to do is I need to write x um, the distance x uh, with a, as a function of time, so that's going to be 6t, right? Every, every hour, um, or however much time has passed um, in hours, this, the ship has traveled 6 miles. Um, so x can equal 6t. y is a little bit trickier, uh, but we're starting out at 15 miles away, um, and then uh, every hour it's going down 15 miles. Um, that distance. Uh, so I can write the distance y is 15 minus 15 t. So writing this as a function of time, I can say the square root of 6 t getting squared plus 15 minus 15 t all getting squared. Okay, so I have a function in, uh, of time that relates these quantities together. I want to minimize that distance, so I want to minimize uh, z of t. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the derivative, um, and before I do that, though, I'm going to rewrite this function. So 6t squared, I could write as 36t squared, plus 15 minus 15t quantity squared. If I expand that out, I'm going to have 225 minus 450t plus 225t squared, and all of that's getting raised to the one-half power. So z prime of t is one-half. Um, the inside part, I can combine the 36t and the 225. Um, doing so, I think uh, 261t squared minus 450t plus 225 raised to the negative one-half power. And then times, I need to use a chain rule, so times the derivative of the inside part. So that's going to be 522t um, minus 450. Okay, so rewriting this all. Um, just simplifying things a little, 522t minus 450 will be in the numerator, and then I have this 2 from the 1 half, and then square root of um, everything that's in that parentheses, 261t squared minus 450t plus 225. Okay, so I've got the derivative of my z function. Now, this looks pretty complicated to minimize here. The good news is that um, for a fraction... Uh, when I minimize, I set the derivative equal to zero. And the good news is um, I want a fraction equals zero when the numerator equals zero. So I'm really just solving this equation. So t is going to be 450 over 522. Now I need to make sure that this is actually a minimum value. So I take that critical value, 450 over 522, and then I need to do a sign chart. Um, Doing so, we're going to get a negative value um, here, 
and a positive value here. That tells us that we're decreasing and then increasing. So at 450 over 522 is indeed a minimum value. So that's the time when uh, the two ships are closest to each other. But I want to know what actually is that distance. So what we'll do is we'll say z of 450 over 522. Um, so I'm going to plug that into this original function for z. Um, so I'm not going to write that out, but it comes out to, um, I have it here, um, roughly 5.57 miles. Okay, so what that tells us is that the ships were, the closest the ships ever were to each other was 5.57 miles away. And we wanted to know were they ever five miles away. So the answer is no. Um, so, nope. The ships uh, never saw each other. All right, so that's how you do that one.